Now, you, you did something. You, you do this all the time. You show your Jewishness whenever you can, right? I mean, as, 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 as Mr. Spock, I, think you're right. I mean, a lot of people do. A lot of people know what this means. Explain um, what this means. Well, uh, I, I remember vividly when I was about seven, eight, nine years old, and I used to go to the uh, temple with my parents, and particularly on the high holidays on Yom Kippur, and, and I would sit with my father. It was an Orthodox synagogue. My mother would be sitting upstairs yes. on the balcony. And, and there was a moment when the congregation would be standing, and everybody would kind of turn their backs to the bima. And, and my father said to me, turn around, don't look. Now, when you're that age, yes. you hear these people chanting, that, ah, 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 <laughs> and you hear some strange sounds coming. You think everybody's looking that way. I want to look that way and see what the magic is. Right. And I saw these men with the, with the, uh, with the uh, very large prayer shawls, and, and they're under there with their hands like this. I thought, this is really a magic moment. It made a tremendous impression on me. And I had no idea why they were doing it or what it meant, yes. but I started practicing to learn to do that. You know? Even though you don't belong to that tribe. No, right? I am not one of the Kohanim. Right. But I, it just seemed so magical to me. And eventually, of course, I learned why they were doing it and what it, what it signified. There are a lot of stories, by the way, about, I'm sure you're aware, of what this signifies. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, there are a lot of stories about it. Some are actually, actually Kabbalistic interpretations. Uh -huh. uh, the one that seems most likely is that this is the shape of the letter Sheen which is the first letter of the word Shaddai, which I means see. the Almighty in Hebrew, so that they are using the letter of the Almighty's name, the initial of the Almighty's name, to bless the congregation. Right. And one day we were doing this. I'm glad you came on my show to tell me those things. You are, what? I'm glad you came That's on my show to tell me those Yes, absolutely. I love <laughs> one it. One day we were, we were uh, making the Star Trek series in 1966, 67, thereabouts, and there came this episode where Spock was going home to his home planet for the first time, the planet of Vulcan and was going to meet the matriarch of the planet, played by a wonderful actress who's since gone named Celia Lofsky. <clears throat> and we had this greeting scene to do, and I said to the director, I think Vulcans should do something special when they meet, like humans shake hands yes. or they wave at each other, the military people salute each other, maybe Vulcans do that. You know? and he had no idea what it he didn't. was, but he said, okay. Gene, Gene wasn't Jewish. No, no, this was, this oh, was a director, was not, director, not Gene Roddenberry, was I a director see. on the episode. Uh, but he said, fine, do that. And, and Celia and I exchanged that. She did the same thing to you? Well, yeah, she, we had to teach yes. her how to do it, but she hadn't practiced as long as it I had. It is tough to do. It is tough to do. I remember when I was a child, I couldn't do it. I know. And it was another kid who said, well, you don't belong to that tribe. You're not supposed to do I it. I know. Well, that's, that's part of the ritual of the culture. Yes. But that's how it started.